There's something about Gogo Town that makes me hungry for more. And it's not the cute food stalls kind of hungry. The character customization offers a variety of colors for the hair, skin, and clothing items. And your character isn't restricted to being a human. For this playtest, they've added glowing skin, glowing eyes, and fangs. Which is great if you'd like to fit in with the supernatural creatures that could join your town. The fact that the townies won't just be humans is one of the things that stood out to me about this game, and I quickly found myself drawn to the ghosts and mummies. I love the variety of vehicles in this game. The speedy rides are the bikes and the skateboards. They can ride off path and onto curves and are not restricted to the roads like the trucks. And although they're slower, these trucks can carry so much inventory. And trust me when I say this is useful. At a certain point, I lost track of cleaning and became the town's garbage lady. Look at how high that pile of garbage is. It carries so much. And after this reaction from my character, I became such a neat freak. Until you can hire a delivery person, it is up to you to collect resources and distribute them around town. I enjoyed being able to forage for ingredients that my shops needed. But having an official courier can help free up your time. There's a net to catch crabs and lobsters, and a little flag will pop up to let you know when to raise the net. I thought it was really cute and smart that they added that, but there's currently a little glitch where sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to need to unlock the automated farming because farming hates me in this game. I could only grow the wheat. But fishing is one, two, three. It loves me and I love that. The build tool felt pretty intuitive. It has a newly added terrain tool to further customize your town. I love that we can control which townies run the shops and which townies are roommates and that you can pick up buildings even after construction is finished. Visually, sunset time is my favorite. The colors get so rich and it's especially beautiful in the mining zone at this time. Speaking of colors reminds me, I said good things about the character customization, but the color palette needs work. I went from excited about finding the perfect color to disappointed. They look nothing like how the color looks on the character, so that definitely needs to be fixed. But overall, I'm getting quite addicted to this town management sim. Would you play this game? I have two other life simulation game recommendations. Enjoy!